All right, so today I'm gonna to make a simple auto-click detector. And let's say I have a simulator game, I'm clicking away, I'm making money, everything's good. And then you see people in there that you know that they couldn't have done that well. And it's your game, so you don't want, you don't want that. You wanna have an auto-click detector. So this one is measuring the differences between clicks. Every 25 clicks, I check to see what the uh, variation is between their clicks. It's called, this is a standard deviation. The lower this number, the more precise the clicking. So this is a good number for me, 0 0.019. That's about as good as I can get. I think I have something, yeah, 1015. Let's see what an auto clicker can do. I also check to see if there's movement. So even if you move one pixel in that sample space, you're considered a human. I'm gonna go and get this auto clicker. I created this. I'll put a link in the description. I made it in Java. If you wanna make your own auto clicker, you can follow along with that video and do that. I don't trust downloads like that. So I have 60 clicks. This is the release time from when you press the mouse to releasing the mouse. And this is the delay between clicks. It doesn't really matter. What matters is it's precise. So if I hit OK, and now I'm going to sit back, and I'm getting my clicks, I'm getting my money, I'm sitting there. The first set's going to be OK because I was kind of talking and moving things around. Ooh, look at that. Second set. Got kicked from the game. You were kicked from this game. Auto clicker detected. Huh. Look at that standard deviation. It is low. It's much lower than what I can do. So that's what we're going to look for. If there's very, very little variation in the clicking, we're going to say, hey, this is probably an auto clicker. All right, like I said, it's a simple one. It doesn't get complex patterns, but it'll get you started. And if you want to play around with that, you can. Let's go ahead and get rid of this world, close this. And I'm going to pause the video, open up a fresh world. All right, so I got my fresh world here. Let's make our auto click detector. Let's go to starter GUI, screen GUI, and I'll do local script. All right, so in my local script, I'm going to call this an auto click detector. And I'm going to need another, I'm going to break out my standard deviation and mean my stats stuff into a module script in case I want to use it somewhere else. So I'll say module script. I'm going to call this stats. I'll come over here to module, say stats. Just change my table name. You don't have to do that. You can use module, but I like it to be representative of the of the script. I'm going to do a function for finding the average between click, you know, the click the time between clicks. All right. So that's that's called the mean, but I'll call it average here. All right. So we have our average. The array is going to have all of our uh, click time data in. It's going to be like 25 differences in clicks in time. I'm gonna do a, make a variable for sum, sum equals zero, and I'm gonna sum everything up. I'm gonna find the sum, I'm gonna divide by the total. So I equals one, we'll go to the number of elements of the array, we'll do it in steps of one. I'll just say sum equals sum plus array I. All right, and then when we get to the end, we'll just divide it by the number of elements in the array. And we have an average. Don't forget to return it or you'll get nil. Oh, I don't want I don't want that I. I just want it like this. Just go like that. All right, so we'll say return sum. And that'll be the average. It's like adding up your test scores, right? So you're gonna add up all your test scores, then you divide by the number of tests, then you have your average, also called mean. All right, so I'm gonna make another function. Stats, and this is called, this will be standard dev for standard deviation pass in the array and we'll also pass in the mean let's do a for loop for i equals one the number of elements in the array steps of one do standard deviation let's make a variable for standard deviation let's declare a standard deviation variable there make it zero take the old value and add math power um, array element minus the mean to the power of two. So basically we're going to square the difference between every single element in the array and the mean, and then just uh, add it to the standard deviation. 
at the end of that, like I say, you don't really have to understand this. Just know that the lower the number, the more precise everything is getting. And that's when you want to know, uh-oh, this, this dude's just a little too good. All right, so we'll say array. There we go. That's how you do standard deviation, right? Ah, no. Got to add something to it. Not that simple. Take the square root. All right, that would be, we, we could do variation, but we'll do the square root. If you look at this up, you'll just find the formula. Eh, there we go. Don't forget to return it. There. Okay. So the standard deviation. The lower the number, the more precise. At some point, you're going to start looking to say, hey, this is this is this is an auto clicker. So here we got to get some variables. We have to actually uh, require our stats package. We have our stats require script.parent, oops, parent, stats. Let's get our player. And we can do game players, local player. Then let's get our mouse. We can get that from the player, get mouse. You do this on the client side. Um, let's get a table for all our click values. So this is gonna have our click differences in time between one click and another. There we go. It's an empty table, empty table right now. Say click count, make that zero. I guess we could start with one. Local last down. So this is gonna be the time, the last time you held the mouse down compared to the, to the current time you hold down. So we're just gonna initialize this with tick. So that's gonna have the value. Tick is milliseconds milliseconds of time uh, on your on your computer system. Um, we'll just initialize it at startup and then we'll start updating it as we're clicking. So I need a sample space too. So I'm gonna say click sample space and this is how many clicks you're gonna collect before you do some, some stats on it. Let's say a standard deviation needed. So if you beat, I played around a few of these numbers. If you, point, if you beat 0 0.009, Good chance you're a bot. Do movements needed. So if you move even once, it's not gonna it's not gonna kick you. Which I know is bad because some some click detectors do that. You can you can program movement into it, but uh, we have to make this simple. It would get too hard to do pattern recognition in a YouTube video like this. It'd probably take an entire semester to go through a lot of the variations. Let's do local function button down so I'm gonna record my down button and or I'm gonna hook up my down button I'm gonna hook up my move function I'm gonna call this move it let's do that now let's get our mouse and what we have we got mouse button down right mouse button one down connect that to button down get rid of those extra parentheses Let's do one for the movement. Move, connect, uh, well we have move it, move it. So move it's gonna be easy. I'm just gonna get my movements and I'm just gonna add one to it. And then I'll reset it when I hit my sample space. All right, we're not gonna reset it there. We'll reset everything here. We're gonna do almost all the heavy lifting and button down. Do local, current down, that's our tick. So this is the time on the computer in milliseconds, right when we click. And then we're gonna find the difference between current tick, current down, and the last down. Then we're going to make, la oh, don't do local. We're gonna make last down equal to current down for the next click. And go ahead and get your table. And for your click count, Go ahead and store that diff. There we go. So every 25, every time we hit a sample set size, that's sufficient. So I'll say when click count is greater than or equal to clicks, sample size, then let's do some stats. Let's get our mean. We'll say stats, average, click table. I'll give us our average. We'll do our standard deviation, stats, 
standard dev, click table, and pass in the mean. If the standard deviation is really good, right? If the standard deviation is less than the standard deviation needed, and there's no movements, movements is less than the movements needed. Let's say it's a bot. All right, so we'll say, let's print out some stats for us on the screen. We'll say click count, click counter, detected, detected. There. And let's see what the mean is and the standard deviation. Also print the movements. That way, if, if, we're, uh, if we're not getting any movements in here, because we want to make sure that both of these are right, right? So the standard deviation has to be really low, and there has to be almost no movement. Well, in this case, if there's any movement. But you can increase that number, too. Let's see, else. So if it's kind of normal, let's just print out what we got. Let's do, I want to do this. I'll print this, I'm going to copy that line. Paste this line right here, and I'll say no click deck. And I'll just do this. There we go. Mean and standard deviation. All right, then we'll reset our click count. Click count equals one. Movements will equal zero. And let's go ahead and clear out our array. Click table will equal an empty click table. Okay. Also, so that's what happens if we hit our sample space size. What happens if it's business as usual and we're on like the 19th click or something? Let's do this. Let's go to down here and we'll say else. Print. Here, let me get rid of this window so you can see more. All right. So I'm lining this if up with this else. So else print. Go ahead and get our count number count equals click count and we'll get our diff just so we know where we're at and then we have to increment our count number so count number equals count number plus one all right that's looking pretty good what we want to do here though if we failed right we want to kick the player so let's go ahead and put a put a note in here we're going to do a remote event and we'll fire server. And that's going to be the player. The player is going to be passed automatically because this is a local script. So we need a remote event. Let's go to replicated storage. Ah, I hate when that happens. Hit the plus sign, remote event. Call this click RE. Kick RE, I'm sorry. Kick RE. Uh, let's get our... You can put that anywhere up here. I'm just going to put it under my module script, though. I'm going to get a reference to replicated storage, game, get service, replicated storage, and then I'm going to make a variable for the kick event. I'll wait for child, kick re, and now I can call this. Let's go ahead and copy these two lines because we're going to need this on server side. Go to server script service, make a script called kick. There you go. Paste those two lines for the replicate storage in a remote event. Catch the remote event on the side on server event connect. I'm just going to do an inline function here. Player will get passed. We'll say player kick. Auto clicker detected. All right, that's looking good. Let's just a quick look at our stats, make sure that we're returning our values. We are returning values. I miss that a lot. And then this is looking good. All right, let's bring back our window so we can view the output. Let's play our game. Go to home, hit play. Click, 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 click. So no matter what, we'll never get we'll never get booted on the first set. But I'm gonna keep clicking, I'm gonna try to keep my mouse real ah, I move my mouse. I'm gonna try to keep my mouse really still. 
See, so I'm getting 0 0.03 variation on uh, the standard deviation, 0 0.037. Let's try a click detector. Hit OK. And it'll start clicking away. Here we go. Click, 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 click. And the first one will always pass. Boom, got kicked. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's pretty good. Standard deviation of 0 0.01. So that's, we could even tighten our requirements even more, just in case you have like a super programmer that can do really even clicks. Now remember, this is variation. So even if you slowed this down, it doesn't matter. It's the precision of the clicking. All right, so I hope you had fun. I hope this is uh, successful, you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you in the next video.